always forgetting something. Good morning, everyone. It's about five-ish at this point. Today, I'm just gonna take you through what my kind of post-trail routine looks like. Woke up around 4.30, at least I try to wake up around 4.30 every day. It doesn't really work that often, especially lately with allergies coming back up in the springtime. It's been harder to wake up early, wake up a little more groggy. But uh, we made it today. Killers also coming to the gym with me, but that's where we're headed right now. After the gym, I'm gonna go for a short run. Then I'm gonna edit a little bit, work on some more video work stuff. Wait for all these cars to pass. <laughs> and then I have work, got about an eight hour shift today. And then immediately I go to pool. So I shoot on an APA pool league. If uh, anyone's interested, my handicap is a six. So I know my way around, but yeah, anyways, let's get into it. this morning now that my knees finally starting to feel somewhat normal again I'm gonna work my way into training for my half marathon so today doing about a mile and a half two miles just to warm up see how my knee feels tomorrow should be a little bit of a rest day and Wednesday I have reserved for long hikes so Wednesdays I'm hiking Thursdays are a long run Friday's a short run Saturday's a rest day Sunday repeat trail run blah 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 although I don't know about trail running quite yet I can run on flat surfaces with my knee but anytime I tweak it left or right it hurts a little bit so might be staying on the pavement for now little tip though if you have any, any injuries like that or even just when you're starting to run if you're in the grass it's a little bit softer although it is a little bit it, it definitely tests your ankle stability a little bit more but it's so much softer and your legs feel a little bit fresher after your run. So I'm going to stop shaking upside up and down like this and I'll see you guys inside. I don't know why it's always a habit to just start scrambling the eggs, but I'm not making scrambled eggs today. Once I get home and shower or take an ice bath like I did this morning and eat a very, very large breakfast, I like to just sit down on the couch and edit whatever videos I have. If I don't have any videos to edit, um, I find something to edit because there's always more to do, especially when it comes to creating and editing videos. So especially this month, since I am trying to make a video every single day for the entire month of March, which so far so good. The last two days I've managed to make two videos for each day. Today 
I got this one going on, and on my way back from the gym today, I cleaned up about three garbage bag fulls of trash. So you guys have probably already seen this. If not, then uh, it will be coming very soon. Uh, actually, you know, I think it may be tomorrow's video for you guys. So anyways, keeping myself as busy as I have been really does help me to just not so much forget about the trail, but to just feel that kind of contentness, con contentness, if that's even a word, but it, it helps me to feel content throughout the day and not miss the trail so much because I do miss it every day and I'm so excited to get back out there and do my next trip. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. The rest of my day is really just going to work and then on Mondays I have my pool league. So I go to pool and I usually don't get back until very, very late. Sometimes not even until like 1 a.m. Although hopefully not because, you know, I did, I do wake up super early in the morning and it's nice to get some sleep. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.